All right, guys. Wow, well, welcome back to Mosaic's New World Empire. This is where we teach you all instruments. And then we are presently working on the saxophone and the guitar. Consider subscribing right now. My name is Mosaic. This is one of my students. Just, uh, not, just barely a month right now. In, right here, one on one class with me. And um, I just want her to be part of my class today. She's going to really do one or two things that I will instruct her to do. And I believe you will enjoy this class. It's going to be something that will challenge you. So those of you that are just learning, just to encourage you. Verasax has grown. This is another Verasax coming up. And um, she's really doing great. So let's take our class on what you should do as a beginner when you pick up a new key. Okay, using her as my subject in the studio. All right, Faith Faith. You have to tell them, just wave to them. Hi. All right, that's Faith Faith on the saxophone. Okay, now she's going to be on key C. I expect my student to perfect the key C before transferring to other keys. The first thing I expect you guys to learn is how to play the diatonic scale of that key C. All right, play me the diatonic scale, the major scale on the low, on the low. You are not pressing the octave key right now. Okay. Beautiful sound. It means her embroke is good, everything is good. Her read is fine, the sax is good, she is good, everything is good. All right, the next thing is that I expect her to be able to permutate that scale on the low. Let's go now, on the low now. Permutate it in trace. Let me see. Good. That was perfect. Just, I taught you permutation. Go back to that class. The next permutation is, can you permutate in third? Do, mi, re, fa, mi, so. Let's go. Good. Now, can you permutate it in force? Do, re, mi, fa, and so on. So we have permutated the notes of the major scale. Now can we pick the pentatonic scale on that same low register? Let's go pentatonic. Let's take it again. Good. The next thing you go ahead and permutate it so that you can get acquainted with the notes of the Pentatonic scale. Now permutate it in three. Do, re, mi, re, mi, so. Let's go. Good. So now can we permutate it jumping? Let's see if we can jump. Do, mi, re, so, mi, la, do, re, so, mi, la, do, 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 so, la, mi, so, re, mi, do. The idea of this permutation is to help her fingers to get used to the notes and her ears as well to get used to the notes of that particular scale. Can we do it in force? Do let me so, let me so la, go. Good, that's perfect work. Wow, just barely a month now, she's not even up to a month and she's playing this already. That's great. So the next thing I want her to do is to press the octave key and begin to play all that we have played on the second middle register of that key C. Now let's go now. You pick it now. You pick the diatonic scale first. Mm -hmm. Good. 
good. So you pick it again now. Go ahead now and permutate it in trace. Do re mi. So she's going to jump right now in third. So do mi re fa mi so like so. That's beautiful. Can we do it in force? Do. lovely isn't it well have not got in here what am i going to do as a teacher i expect her to be able to flow from the low register into that higher register so that's what she's going to do that's going to play that only scale in two octaves that only scale in two octaves all right let's go now yeah. <laughs> be picking the second note the second octave from the ray and she's releasing it from the T. Let's go it let's do it again. Perfect. Perfect. That's good. Okay, so if my student get to this point, I will expect her also to start permutating but for now, let her play the pentatonic scale in two octaves. Pentatonic scale in two octaves. Isn't that lovely? That's beautiful. So she knows how to do that. The next thing that she's going to be able to permutate it. permutation even in two octaves can you permutate pentatonic scale in two octaves using the one two three one two three one two three let's go one month and she's doing this okay so the next thing she's going to really have to improve on haven't got into this level is the chromatic scale that's because i want to start introducing her into what i call the techniques for her to get to slurring and grace note i have to first of all introduce her into the chromatic scale so my dear play the chromatic scale for me on the low octave chromatic scale <laughs> perfected this i will now teach her the class i have already taught on slurring technique if you miss that class it's right there so you go there and just check it right now so she's gonna pick she's gonna be using t to pick do use d to pick re use more to pick me use me to pick five use phi to pick so use v to pick la use to to pick t 
and so on and so forth. Alright, let's go now. So she's gonna do 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 the twos. She will leave the she will blow the first one and slow the second one. Alright, let's go. On the high, let me see. Wow. <laughs> at least started rehearsing on the grace note, perfecting it right away. So what she's going to do now, I want her to do a song and start making melodies with what she has learned. She will now begin to do as many songs as she wants to do. If she doesn't know the surfers, I give her the surfers, or she get the surfers anyhow and then make sure the most important is that she has to be playing in surfers. Then, taking note, her tongue in. When I ask her to tongue, go ahead and do the tongue in technique. To, 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 so, 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 so. Just the place. Meaning, the tongue in technique is okay with her. So now, I expect her to now do melody, do a song. I'm, I want to listen to her tongue in. I want to listen to her slurring. I want to listen to her grace notes. And then, next week, She's going to demonstrate vibrato as well. So right now, let her just do Amazing Grace for us as one of those songs that she has been practicing right in this class. Okay, so Amazing Grace, my dear. Did you score that from me? That's beautiful. I can hear uh, even um, Grace Note is in that play. Slurring is there. Everything is there. Wow, that's beautiful. If you continue like this in the next one month, I'm telling you, she's going to come back here and do something for you that you don't have a choice than to give her a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button right here in this channel. Okay, let's call it a day right now, my dear. What do you have to say to those viewers out there, encouraging them to be part of what we're doing? Don't forget, if you have not subscribed, subscribe. Yes. You'll learn more. We well, love you. How did you find out about this class? She was one of my, um, she was one of my uh, subscriber, one of my students online. She traced me down and uh, she's now a one-on-one -on -one student with me. And um, I want some of you are going to take that kind of a step. You are watching online. Of course, you can trace us to our studio here and be part of this class. Okay, so what we have to say, let us tell them. Bye!